So we've got some dev notes to go over from Weathering Waves. We are, um, uh, um, what, a week away from the next update of which I am going to be out of town. So I will likely be missing out on doing a countdown stream for it, unfortunately. And it's a really big patch too. It's for Camellia. I might still try and do it. We'll see how it goes. That being said, let's go over to dev notes. This is everything we can anticipate during the new patch they might leave some stuff later in the bottom about something that'll come up much later but we'll go over it but let's let's do it let's dive over it let's go over all of this dear rovers thank you for continued support more than ways meshes in this update we're adding new gameplay elements and exciting new features and optimizations to enhance your experience let's get into it i'm already excited by this image is this like a team attack that's crazy okay new gameplay elements new combat mecha mechanism a dream link okay uh, combat mechanic that will be introduced in the main event of version 1.4 dream link enhances the synergy between your resonators i like how we're uh linking with two amazing waifus right off the bat <laughs> allowing them to unlock their true potential together when certain conditions align during combat dream link will activate dramatically amplifying your team's combat prowess hey i like that this feels a little like similar to what um the shorekeeper does because uh, shorekeeper has like her ultimate animation but then after that if you um do meet certain conditions and you switch into her she has like a second animation thing this feels like another like something similar to that that's the that's the kind of vibe i'm getting so it basically creates a buff so it doesn't it's not like a, an attack a team attack thing it's just a, a buff which hey more damage makes things a little more manageable overdrive combat elusive sprint in the main event of 1.4, you can pick up the White Cat's Blessing to enter the elusive sprint state that increases your moving speed. Oh, that's good for Overworld. Lumi and Resonator, who will make her debut in the new version, has a similar ability. Oh, so if you don't pull for her, you can still do it in the Overworld. When certain uh, requirements are met, instead of dodging, Lumi dashes to get out of the harm's way and is capable of attacking enemies while moving in high speed. That's cool. Oh, there's a little range attack will be available in the main event of 1.4 once the main event concludes it will be added to, as a permanent event where the same gameplay mechanisms will still be available i love it it's good weapon cosmetics weapon pro weapon projection what, what does that mean wait is that the same weapon but with a different design we're getting different designs on the weapons that's sick with 1.4 we're introducing an exciting new customization feature weapon projections this feature lets you transform the appearance of your weapons without affecting their stats allowing you to create a look that it's that's entirely your own hey they say that's entirely your own but the reality is is that you are you're limited to certain options but hey i'm not going to complain about that ask you oh, wait, wait wait does that weapon have a cat paw in it what the fudge is hap what kind of a what is 1.4 coming with us participate in 1.4 to ob obtain a free weapon projection associated with the event featured four star weapon okay cool we're adding transparent weapon projections available for for all five weapon types you can use a transparent weapon projection to turn the equipment weapon completely or partially invisible Oh yeah, it is invisible. I don't know how I feel about that. It's like an invisible lightsaber when you're wielding a sword. These new options let you add even more personality. You know what? If you're the type of person that likes to build your characters aesthetically and like you need to have it match with a color palette, but you can't, you don't, the weapon that you have on them does not really match their aesthetic or whatever. You can basically just turn it invisible and then it'll kind of eliminate that a little bit. So I guess, I guess it's for those people. Participate in the Depths of Evolution role to obtain a complete set of transparent projections for free. Okay, so do that. To make rectifiers and gauntlets completely invisible to turn swords, broadblades, pistols partially transparent. Oh! So for people that like their punchy boys, but they don't like how they look with their weapons on, you can just make them punch invisibly. That's cool. Leveling related optimization. Double rewards. Step-by-step -step echo upgrade. Wait, what does this mean? To enhance your long-term gaming experience. We'll introduce a series of leveling related optimizations as part of an ongoing project. In this update, you'll be able to fast travel directly to the location of any tacit. Thank you. Thank you. Because it's been it's pretty annoying how we have to like teleport to the nearest teleport point and walk a little bit. Now we can just land directly. That's good. Uh, additionally, you'll have the option to spend double the wave plants to earn double rewards upon completing completing a forgery similar. Uh, yes. This makes whenever I don't have a lot of time, like like in the morning or whatever, so much quicker. That is good. I like this. Just can spend 120 right off the bat. Love it. Love to see it. Love to see it. You can conveniently upgrade an echo to the exact level that unlocks new substat. Yes. 
Because before it would be like automatic to like level cap, but now you can do five. This is good. This was desperately needed. 100%. 100%. Okay, this is good. Um, interference related optimize it. Wait, what? Uh, Waveplane info pop up, echo info pop up, tower of adversity interface adjustments. Okay. Whenever you log into the game, you'll receive pop up displaying the amount of wave plants and wave plant crystals you own. No, that's good because every time you have to open up the full map to like take a look at that but now it's just going to be there oh wait whenever you log in oh it probably disappears after a couple of seconds so i hope it lasts long enough for me to notice but because they put it where i'm likely to have a bunch of red exclamation points i'll probably take take note note of it for a little bit that's good i don't need to open up full map for that that's good convenient this the displayed information for a newly uh, absorbed echo will also be optimized. Okay. Upon absorption, the echo sonata effect category will be displayed. All yes. So now I can tell if it's good or bad right off the bat. and I don't need to go to the menu. And if it's good, that means I can open up the menu and lock it. There we go. Good. In the current version, adjusting your team lineup to the tower in the tower requires leaving and re-entering. That's true. Which we know can interrupt your gameplay experience. Yes, to prove this, we've optimized the interface in the upcoming version, allowing you to view and adjust your team directly within the tower. Finally, good. That was getting a little annoying. Apart from the above, more optimizations are in the pipeline along with more gameplay elements features. Please stay tuned. I will. And there we go. Those are all the notes. These are really good. More quality of life stuff, more or less, uh, making a little bit of stuff convenient for exploration, but they really are dialing down on things that we're really starting. They're really starting to dial down the nit nitty picky stuff, which I'm glad they are tackling and they're going to continue doing that as the game continues and they continue to listen to us. And that's all I can say. I'm quite excited for that. I'm really interested in, in this. The first thing they announced here, the new comp, the dream link. Oh, I wonder what kind of buffs it is, if it's like all buffs straight up. Um, is it different depending on which team categories you are or if it's a five if it's a full team of five stars versus having some four stars in the team i don't know i'm looking forward to knowing more about this but outside of that that will be all for this one are you excited for these uh these notes let me know in the comments down below